Kyle, from your vantage point, what stood out to you about the way Domingo threw the ball tonight? I thought he was great. Um, the, uh, well, I can't say that. The crap kind of hit the fan in the first inning. Uh, you know, we were, I guess, I guess just a little, that's bad luck, a little sloppy. Um, and I think it was a huge credit to his mindset, um, giving us five more shutout innings after that, because I know mentally it's tough when, you know, you're doing everything right. And then, you know, things aren't going your way. And I thought it was really good that he, he was able to lock it in for the rest of the game and give us a chance to win. I mean, as you said, that could have gone a, a really different way considering how that game started off. What does that say about his mental approach and his ability to just bounce back and turn the page in that second inning? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's always a, a telling situation when, you know, things aren't going right. Kind of like to see how people react and he react in the best possible way. So, um, you know, I think in, in the past he's been really good for us and he showed tonight kind of why why that is what's been your key to success at the plate so far this season I'm um, just you know trying to get good pitches to hit um, you know, really not trying to expand outside the zone and chase chase pitches um, you know being a little more selective I actually walked this year so that's better um, but yeah can take the next question from Bruce Beck. Kyle, what about the fact that three of your six hits are are long balls? Are you looking more for it? Is it just coming through in in the uh, just in the flow of the game, or or how would you explain it? Um, I think it's just you know product of kind of my swing being in a good place. Um, you know, I'm kind of of the uh, Ted Williams school of thought, trying to, you know, have a slight uppercut, match the plan of the pitch to, you know, give yourself the most margin for error. Um, you know, you miss on top, it's a line drive. You miss underneath, it's a homer. And if you square it up, it's a gapper. So, um, you know, I think I think it just, it shows, you know, my swing's where, where it needs to be. And, and as long as I keep swinging good pitches, um, you know, hopefully it'll continue.